Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtu Toys channel. Okay, uh, this time I want to talk about the newer releases from Era Car. They are Mercedes Benz G63 AMG 6x6. So, yes, I think by now, by this video, you would have noticed um, quite a lot of new uh, Era releases and new Era arrivals. And you know what? Guess what? That's not all, okay? There's actually more. Um, there's even an Audi A6 which I want to run through with you guys uh, maybe in my next video uh, I'm, go I'm gonna queue it in definitely um, they've made the A6 before so I've but I've not gotten any of it so I've only gotten the recent two um, models which is the test car and the UK uh, police but uh, less on that let's focus on this first so six by their 6x6 six is something that I pursue I collect they have been using this casting for quite some time now um, they do have quite a lot of variant for it um, Chinese New Year version, there's already at least two I think um, And uh, that, that's the year of the cow and the year of the tiger last year And then um, the year of the rabbit, I think if I'm not mistaken Is also another uh, Chinese New Year version as well So um, yeah, this is definitely not, not something that's new I've already covered this before but I thought this would be a good chance for me to just catch up on uh, the, the newer releases and because I, I feel these out of all the 6x6 that is in the market right now that I know of I think there's an OEM version and then there is a, a matchbox version I think ERA version is actually quite okay I think it needs to be a little uh, to call it 64 scale I think it I'm guessing that it needs to be a little bit bigger but uh, still overall um, I think it's quite alright so actually I already have this one out of the box i already have the avan and the snowfield out of the box um it's already on display over at uh, collector's cube okay um i actually handle their social media i'm uh i handle their facebook live and the tiktok live as well so do look them up okay um i do ex have extras of this um it's uh it's handled by collector's cube as well you can check out their website coldcube.com they ship international so uh here we go so this will be the first one the snowfield style this is number six so you know yeah, low number, right? Means this casting has been out for a while already. Number six and number seven. So this is a re, 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 um, recycled uh, number. Not a recycled design, okay? Probably a recycled uh, mold, I would say. They recycle a mold. However, uh, we'll call it a new design, okay? So this one, this, this one I have here, right? It's white in color. It comes with the luggage boxes. Uh, we've seen this before. It comes with a roof rack and the luggage. Actually, it's a separate piece. So the first one, I think, it was in... Uh, I can't recall. I think it's, it was in green, I think. <coughs> so that one... Um, that, was, that, that was kind of something to kick off. I think the luggage version and the, the one with the cow milk bottle version. So I actually have that, but I believe I've already done a review on that as well. So I'll, I'll put a link in the description below. Okay, so that kind of kicked off their 6x6... Six uh, casting okay so it comes with three piece luggage bag which you can put on the roof rack like that okay two holes for the roof rack to sit apart from that actually quite nice built opening parts oh yeah so this would be as far as i know this would be the only um opening part um opening parts uh six by six in 64 scale uh that's in the market all right it comes with this cover as well i've forgotten about it Okay, so it makes makes it look looks much more premium, snow feel style. Oh, okay. So I haven't. Same thing. So recently, you would have noticed I'm doing more of a product review rather than telling you the story of the car, um, because there's so many arrivals, and um, I I do know that some of you guys who are watching right do watch my videos to help you decide to actually get it or not. Um, so this time around, I'm just gonna do a product review and uh you guys decide for yourself whether you should get it or not so this one i have a feeling um it's based on a real thing uh zit zitzman okay autozitzman.com so i i haven't got a chance to to actually look, look it up this is the first time i'm actually taking a closer look at this release so i do wonder if if you know this is actually based on a real car based on a real company exclusive car all right because um on the box itself there's no um, gen so-called genuine official uh, product of that brand, and uh, yep, only for Mercedes. 
so nothing on that on the was it again otozitzman.com yeah so i don't know if that is actually a real company or this is actually something um at that era design carbon fiber platform here okay it's actually done quite nicely i think it i think it's printed on you can feel a little bit of texture i thought it's a sticker wrap uh, but when i look underneath it's so clean um i think it's a it's a print okay it's that's very nice side exit exiting exhaust i don't recall this in the previous casting but uh let let me see um yeah i i, I will need to check on that but uh very nice actually the side ex exiting exhaust roll rolls very nicely okay so this is the white version it has a number plates as well so i suspect this is actually based on a real fit or, or, or an actual six by six okay all right so i'm just gonna place it back on um things go on quite easily oh okay i just noticed there's this texture here at the back if i can zoom in and focus for you guys look at that that is actually very nice you know that uh steel stainless steel kind of kind of um sheet right it it has a texture as well i can feel it so that's nice nice that's nicely done by era a bit yeah i think probably i will go without the cover since there is details in there but um to to not make the table too messy right i'm just gonna i'm just gonna put everything up there first nice okay so this will be a snow field style all right i'm gonna park it aside and then we have the avan version okay now we focus on the avan version yeah all of them have the engine details massive engine up front okay the mercedes logo in the middle that's very nice so this one has a yokohama plates okay we go to the side yep opening doors opening um front hood there's some details to the steering wheel as well can you see it yep there's some details to the steering wheel that's very nice okay so this one yep it has the same texture again on the uh, on the back now I do know that they do have a couple of, uh, I think there are two or three different variants um, in, in this spotlight thing. So as far as I know, there are two castings for, for this 6x6 from ERA. So let's see, let's compare it since there is um, actually there's number 6, number 7 and then there's number um, 45 and 49. So this Avan is a special, so-called special edition, hence um, no number. Right, Yokohama, Yokohama. I do quite like how the fender is a separate, it's a different color. Again, I believe it's a print since uh, it's it's all, you see, the finishing is very nice, very neat. So I guess it's a print on a, yeah. Okay, it's not a sticker wrap. That's nice. It's a very nice avant piece. Again, side exiting exhaust, so I, I don't think this is new. I don't think this is new. Okay. Nice. Sorry, I'll focus a little bit. Okay. Alright. So if we if it's closed door, nice. Very nice. Okay, so this one didn't come with any accessories. Right? So box is uh pretty standard. Um yep, no numbering on the van keys. Okay, so this is already out of the box. Okay, uh three three new colors the flame camouflage the marine camouflage and the light black now the marine the their marine color right the one that i uh, hit me the most is actually on their chimney they on their chimney they do have one marine variant and that is really very nice that combination of dark blue white and black is actually very nice so this is actually something similar the only thing missing from from this marine camouflage right, is the white uh color on it so let's see let's see so far i think i can say on their jimmies right the paint job is quite it's quite all right it's quite all right so now with this six by six it's a massive um that's massive space for paint look at that damn damn bro this does look good this does look good so this is number 45 uh you know what let's let's get it let's get all the tree out of the box Okay, let's get the tree out, all three out of the box. So in the meantime, right, um, help me to hit the like button, okay? Because that will help me out in the uh, YouTube.
YouTube um, algorithms, okay? So this will be number 29, Flame Camouflage. Let's get it out. Okay, and then um, hit the subscribe button as well, okay? Um, that will also help me out with the YouTube algorithms, okay? Then you hit the bell, okay? You don't want to hit the bell so that I don't miss on any of my other videos. So what I'm trying to do right now is actually... Um, I try to speed up my videos. I try to catch up with the, uh, the rivals. Hence, um, I spend a little bit less time on, on uh, the uh, background of the cars. And uh, very quickly show you, show you the product itself. But uh, if you feel any, any, any one of the cars right, that I should be covering its background, right, please do let me know. Okay? Like the recent one would be the Diablo SV, uh, Kazuki. Uh, Matt Lane's um, Diablo SV, right? That has a really interesting backstory. I, I didn't know about it, so that was something that's interesting, and uh, I was more than happy to actually do uh, to cover that. And hang on, so one more piece. The red one does look really very nice, flaming red, like uh, just like it's uh, what what it says on the box. Can't tell, can't tell on the packaging, right? But uh, once it's out of the box, that's why you gotta you gotta open it up. You gotta open all of them up. You can't, you can't leave it in the boxes, guys. Of course, the blister packaging does help, but uh, I'm I'm not a fan of that blister packaging because storage is a crazy hassle. Because I do still keep the packaging, so I just don't have the heart to throw the blisters, uh, the blister packaging out, even though I got the car out loose. Okay, so let me know. Let me know how how do you guys store your cars, and let's say if it's the blister ones, how do you store it? So single, single piece, the black one does come with a roof rack, okay? If we do make a little bit of comparison. Now, um, <coughs> I'll, do the, I'll do the camouflage first because it's really just so nice, okay? Oh, hang on. What's the plastic? You know, I just throw it at the back of the box. Now you can't see it. <laughs> uh, okay, there, nah, it's back in. Now, blue marine, uh, blue, yeah, marine. It's not blue actually, it's marine camouflage. Yeah, it's called marine camouflage and flame camouflage oh beautiful yes we use the word beautiful for this one number 49 and 45 so out of the box they do look identical they have this um accessory on top the spotlight accessory i do i do know that this is actually one of the variant um yeah so see this is this is one variant right and this one with the four spotlights on top, that is another variant. Now if I park four of these together side by side, they do look identical apart from apart from the uh, uh, accessory on top. Side mirrors are the same. Front grille, they look the same. The front bumper, they look the same as well. Um, uh, well is there any other difference in front? Nope, nope, it's all the same. So let's check out the engine, if there's any difference to the engine. And, uh, oh, okay, I, I did notice another another part, which would be this. There's actually a nub here. I'm gonna call that a nub. There's a bump. All right, can you see the bump? Okay, this one actually has a bump here. So all of them has that bump, actually. I do wonder what is that. If you do know, please do let me know in the comment section below. What's, what's this front bump? I'm just gonna call it the front bump. MJ, the front bump, it's a, uh, yeah, tell me. Okay, engine is engine detail is pretty much the same. Um, let's see with the Yokohama version. It's yeah, it's pretty much the same as well. Um, now if we go to the, the the top view, right? Top view. Okay, this one has that. You know, is it brown green? Okay. Um, what's going on in the back here? It's the same. Basically, the the casting is the same. It's just the finishing is different. That's the same side view. It does look identical. So I think I'm just do a very quick conclusion that everything is the same, even though it's a different number. Apart from the spotlight on top, yeah. From the back, everything looks the same as well. But again, oh, very nice camouflage actually. Very very nice camouflage. Do you like the red or the blue? I like the blue. I think I like the blue. Two two different shade of blue and black on it. The light blue, dark blue, and then a the black. Oh man, look at that! 
very nice very nice interior 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 i remember most of them they do yeah see you can see a little bit of a blue on the steering wheel right yep era does that era does does include that a little bit of detail on the inside i think yeah this this sets it apart from um mini gt okay because i would i would compare this to a mini gt rather than an Eno or a tarmac because of its price point um era's price point uh, generally uh, this one the 6x6 is a massive casting there's a lot of material needed hence the price is higher but generally era i would compare it usually to mini gt the details uh, however this is massive so this price will be closer to uh eno right now i i guess it's because of its uh complexity of this casting okay all right so there we go this would be the flame camouflage and then we have the light what's it called again light black so this is actually a gloss black not a not a, a matte black which i was kind of hoping for a matte black would be pretty sick okay i'm wondering is it or the major difference would be the hood no the hood is the same as well it's just the way the way the hood is being detailed um the camouflage versions and the light black version has the has has this uh carbon fiber half what half carbon fiber hood okay just a bit of carbon fiber there uh, any details on the steering wheel on this one yep yep a little bit of detail in there as well you can see the buttons being detailed okay, nice nice okay so this black version is quite sick as well so this one the black only the black comes with the roof rack okay nice roll very nicely it rolls very nicely okay so i'm just gonna park them there um so yeah uh five i mean yeah five new six by six in just uh, a short one two weeks that's pretty crazy right which one would you collect or, or do you collect this casting let me know in the, in the comment section okay uh so that's it for this time around remember to hit the like button uh, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell uh, so that you don't miss on any of my other diecast videos um thank you so much for watching guys take care bye